Hello again, let's carry on with this break even analysis. So let's go through a business that provides a service. Um, so the formula is the same, but we just need to look at it from a different perspective. So our break even in amount of hours rather than um, amount of products sold will be our fixed cost. our price per hour what we're charging per hour and this is crucial um, this formula if you're providing a service especially if you're planning to open some sort of car garage or somewhere where you have a property because you need to know how much to charge your customers for a very small business someone who's starting from scratch has very little costs obviously it's not as crucial but this break even analysis is important for any sort of business you're opening. Um, and then minus our variable cost. So same formula and with the brackets, don't forget. This is price per hour minus variable cost, then divide by fixed cost gives our gives us our break even per hours. So say our fixed cost is twelve hundred pounds. You know, that could be a monthly payment on a van, say, our rent, insurance, power, and the list could go on. Say we're planning to charge £35, $35 per, per hour. Now, our variable cost is going to be harder um, to calculate, only slightly when compared to the products that we're selling because when you sell a product your variable cost likely is normally only going to be um, the price you're paying for that product for resale with a service you're obviously not buying a product so your variable cost might be things like fuel if you're traveling to someone's premises you need to calculate some sort of average of fuel you're going to use if you're working in a city say london you know a specific geographical location you may be able to come out with some sort of average of how much fuel you're going to use per visit another variable co cost might be materials now some businesses will charge an hourly rate plus the cost of materials so you won't need to include that because that's going to be covered by your customer but if your business isn't doing that if the materials are covered within the price per hour then materials is going to be a variable cost and there may be other variable costs involved too so say our variable cost comes to eight pound per hour so we do 35 minus 8, which is 27, and then 1,200 divided by 27. So 1,200 divided by 27. So 44.4. 44.4 hours to break even. Now I suggest that you do these analysis on a monthly basis um, the reason being a lot of these VIX costs will be monthly a phone line rent rates wages insurance the mostly monthly so it's easier to calculate and also there's no need to do it on a week by week basis I think a month basis or even an annual basis will give you a better idea so it could be for this new business that we've calculated that's providing a service that you only have to work 44.4 hours per month to break even charging 35 pounds an hour and that's about realistic that's what we will that's what we want it can be a bit complicated with formulas and all these figures flying around but hopefully you've enjoyed the series please like please comment please subscribe there are many more videos to come and there are many videos on my channel already. Please continue to watch them. Thank you for watching.